Imagine putting on a pair of headphones and feeling like you're actually watching a movie at the cinemas, or feeling like you're in the middle of a crowded live concert. Sounds like some cool tech from the future, right? Actually, this tech has been around for quite some time now. It's called spatial audio, and you'll find it in a lot of gaming headsets, and of course, on AirPods and Beats headphones. But is it any good, or is it just another marketing gimmick created to lure you into Apple's walled garden? Let's find out. So, Apple's spatial audio aims to recreate a cinema-like listening experience by simulating a 3D surround sound environment through your AirPods, AirPods Pro, or AirPods Max. But how does it work? Put simply, spatial audio works by applying audio filters to adjust the frequencies, phase, and timing of the sound that each ear receives in order to mimic the directional cues that our head and ears naturally impart. And if all of that went over your head, don't worry. All you really need to know is that these techniques allow it to mimic the sensation of listening in the real world, but can create a totally artificial and convincing surround sound environment. Now, if you're curious as to how this sounds, grab your headphones because we're about to recreate the experience of using spatial audio just for you. Now, to create the simulation, we used our BNK5128 acoustic test head to make a binaural recording of the audio coming out of the second generation AirPods Pro. The recordings are compensated to account for the frequency response of both the AirPods Pro and the ears of the testing head. Now, it's worth noting that this simulation isn't gonna magically turn any pair of headphones into AirPods. The purpose of this test is to let you listen to how the sound of the second gen AirPods Pro is affected when spatial audio processing is enabled. But enough of me talking, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, spatial audio works with multi-channel surround sound content, including music and videos mixed in 5.1, 7.1, or even Dolby Atmos. However, Apple Spatial Audio can also recreate a surround sound-like experience with stereo tracks, with a feature that Apple calls spatialized stereo. Apple has also implemented dynamic head tracking into its spatial audio system, and this feature works by using the data gathered by the motion sensors in your AirPods and coupling it with the gyroscope and accelerometer data on your iOS device. Now, the combined data determines how your AirPods pan the audio around you based on the position of your head in relation to your device. So if, for example, you turn your head to the right, your content will sound like it's coming mainly from the left, basically what happens when you look away from a movie screen. And if you want to experience spatial audio with head tracking for yourself, be sure to stick around until the end of this video. Now, if the idea of virtual surround sound in your AirPods excites you, then you're probably wondering, how do I set this up? Well, it's actually quite simple. To set up spatial audio on an iPhone or iPad, open the control center on your device. Touch and hold the volume control and then tap on spatial audio. The fixed option turns on spatial audio only, while head tracked enables dynamic head tracking. Now, if you're playing regular stereo content, you will see the option for spatialized stereo, which allows your AirPods to simulate a surround sound experience based on just two channels. And you can enable the feature with or without head tracking. Now, it's worth noting that the AirPods Pro aren't the only earbuds to offer spatial audio. And if you want a list of non-Apple headphones that have spatial audio, then you can learn more on our full article on soundguys.com. We know that spatial audio is designed to elevate your listening experience when watching movies or lounging to your favorite songs. But here are two ways to use spatial audio that you may not have thought of. One of my favorite ways to use spatial audio is by listening to concerts on YouTube. Now, it's worth noting that YouTube doesn't actually support multi-channel content. So in order to use spatial audio on the platform, you'll need to enable Apple's spatialized stereo feature. I first tried this while watching Rihanna's Super Bowl performance, which she killed, by the way. And I was actually really surprised with how much spatialized stereo added to the listening experience. The stadium audience sounded like it was coming more from around me, which really added to the sense of immersion. Also, the vocals and instruments were more distinguishable in the mix thanks to the wider stereo image. Now, another great use case for spatial audio is for listening to ambient tracks or soundscapes while working, studying, or relaxing. Now, you don't need any special headphones for this, but there's actually a great app that I discovered that really takes advantage of Apple's spatial audio when you just want something playing in the background. Now, the app is called Endel, and it's an app that produces personalized soundscapes depending on whether you're focusing, relaxing, walking, or even sleeping. It uses AI to create sounds tailored to your current activity, 
take into account factors such as heart rate, time of day, and even the weather. Now, before I continue, I just wanna point out that we're not actually being paid to talk about the app. However, after reaching out to the folks at Endel about using their sounds for this video, they've kindly given a gift for our lovely viewers. But more on that later. Now, using Endel while working and relaxing is quite a treat. While most soundscapes I found on YouTube are just stereo mixes with standard panning, Endel soundscapes take advantage of the surround sound-like experience of spatial audio. And because of the wider sounding mix, I find it easier working and relaxing to Endel soundscapes for longer periods of time, and my ears feel less fatigued by the end of my focus sessions. Now, if it hasn't clicked in your mind, we've actually been playing some of Endel's soundscapes throughout this video. In fact, have another listen. Except this time, not only are we going to be playing Endel's soundscapes, but we'll also demonstrate spatial audio with dynamic head tracking enabled. Endel is available on both iOS and Android, and if you're interested in trying it out, be sure to use our link in the description below. As a matter of fact, Endel is kindly offering the first 500 people to click the link a one month free trial. That was the gift I mentioned earlier. So click the link in the description, sign up, download the app, and enjoy all the soundscapes that Endel has to offer. So at this point, it's safe to say that spatial audio, or at least Apple's implementation, is more than just marketing fluff. But are the second generation AirPods Pro worth investing in? Well, you can watch our full review right here to find out for yourself. 